Welcome Leo. Okay, so we're going to look at the next two weeks and what it is that we can help you with over that time. Okay, so we're using the Mystical Journey Oracle and the Light Seer's Tarot, but we're actually going to start with Druid Wisdom. Okay, now just be aware, some of the names of things in here, it's really hard for me to pronounce. <laughs> so if I need to spell anything out to you, I will do that. Okay, so Leo. Give me three cards for Leo, please. We've got Pagan Wisdom. The Hermit's Home. No, that's two cards. We just want one more for Leo, please. One more for Leo. Hidden Oracles. Okie dokie, hokey pokey. Let's have a look, Cleo. We had Pagan Wisdom jump out first. And see that there? Okay, so Pagan Wisdom. Remember the lesson of nature. Not everything needs to be rushed. A gift comes in waiting for a loving, tender touch. Oh, that's so nice. I love that. Okay, Leo, that's the first card. The next card is Hermit's Home. Oh, I like that. Hermit's Home. It's like tucked away in the crevice of the land there in a cave that no one knows exists. Mysterious. Okay, anyway. The Hermit's Home. A house. Oh, hang on. Sorry. I didn't read the rest of this to you. Okay. Carry rose quartz for respect and love. Okay, so that's the first one. Sorry. The Hermit's Home. A house is but a simple building. A home forever is the warmest kind of feeling. Love it. Okay. Oh, here we go with a, a word that, yep. Place... Talansia, ear plants in the home for resilience and healing. Okay, so Talansia is T-I-L-L-A-N-D-S-I-A. -L -L -A -A. Okay, so do that. Okay, I like that though. That's a nice definition of a home, isn't it? It's not a house, it's a home. The energy that you put in it is what makes it home. Okay, and hidden oracles. Oh, I like that. Look at the card here. Hiding in the... That's neat. That's neat. Hidden oracles. Things that you, you may not necessarily see are there. Okay, so intuition is a compass of inner trust. So thus embrace the gifts an oracle gives to us. Carry so sodalite, sod sodalite crystal to unlock your intuitive abilities. Okay, so sodal sodalite, sodalite is S O D A L I T E. Okay, Leah, nice. Let's get on and on on with it. Yeah. And uh, Lila, these cards here we want. I really like these Druid Wisdom cards. I never got into them, but for some reason this round, even Aries, I did Aries with another deck, um, Divine Directions, and that was fine. But then when I got to Taurus, I was like, nah, we're changing it up for the rest. So that was interesting. So anyway, Leo. Leo, 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 tell me more about this. Tell me more breaking free <sighs> breaking free Leo these are the cards here I feel like I don't know. I, I wonder if for some of you there's something you've been turning a blind eye to. Um, for others of you, I wonder if there's... Yeah, 
there's repairing that needs to be done. Repairing, healing. And it's sort of like this, there's, um, there's things that has happened in your life, Leo, that have impacted you in a very massive way. And it's sort of like half, oh no, over half the healing is done, but there's something you don't want to see, maybe. Or what is left to heal is the toughest for you. Um, and that's why it's it may have been left to last, okay? And it's sort of like, oh gosh, do I really have to deal with this? Like, you know, <laughs> seriously, you know, it, it could also be that, you know, how it is like we go along, we do healing and, and we get, um, you know, we start to feel better and, and we're moving along in our life and then something pops up and it's like, seriously, I thought I'd put that to bed already. I thought I'd deal with that, but it's just another layer that needs to be dealt with. And the thing is, I suppose that with that, the layers, as we work through them, you know, it's a bit like as we get right to the core, that's where that real ugly, horrible part of it is. The most sour thing that, you know, because I, I, it's like the onion, right? of peeling away the layers and then you get to that inner part that is, you know, probably the most woo part of the onion um, and it makes us cry the most, you know. Um, so, yeah, I feel like this is what may be happening for you here, Leo. So tell me more about breaking free for Leo. And, and maybe this is this part that you're healing right now, right? Page of Pentacles, hmm, Page of Pentacles, learning to, actually I feel like you're learning to balance things, okay, um, for some of you actually this may be to do with a younger child, okay, um, I feel like some of you have covered something up covered something up, maybe something that needed be needed to be healed, um, that it was just like too much, it was too much, you just kind of held it there and it was like, I just can't really look at it, um, that maybe it's breaking free from that, learning to break free from that in a sense. Um, this could also be about a child going to a new stage of their life, a child that is in your life, okay, um, moving on to a new stage in their life and um, and sort of gaining their freedom, okay. We've also got the Nine of Pentacles here and this here is um, this independence, you know. Um, it's like the Page of Pentacles has, okay, just let me backtrack here because I don't want to muddle this up. Okay, so it's like this page of pentacles is picking one pentacle and learning how to nurture that and make it grow. Okay, so whether this is you or someone else in your life, just, you know, apply it as it, you know, as, I mean, you know what I mean, Leo, sorry. My words are getting muddled now because I keep getting taken off and I'm now seeing this. It's like plucking a pentacle, putting it in the cauldron here or the pot and, and stirring it up and going, OK, what can I make out of this? How can I make this? You know, really tuning in to that pentacle, right? And the pentacle can represent anything in your life. It can re re represent, you know, um, money. It can represent a relationship. It can represent uh, something that you're passionate about, anything, it could even represent this one thing that needs healing for you, okay, it could represent a child, um, I feel like the pentacle is, is, is just a metaphorical symbol to talk about whatever it is in your life that applies to this, okay, so interestingly enough though, that the owl, it's an at now, or it might be an eagle. Eagle is on top of the um, pentacle that she's going to pick, and so um, I feel like this is about um, you know this that 
there's this power, Leo, um, within you that you are able to make it happen. Okay, you're able to make it work. And I really love that for you. Okay, and... Um, you know, this here, pagan wisdom, remember the lesson of nature, not everything needs to be rushed, okay, so it really is taking the time to allow something to grow, okay, um, yeah, anyhow, next card for Leo, please, in relation to this reading, next card for Leo, please, See, they want to, we've had two cards flip up here, see, look, look at this, <laughs> I'm going to take them, yep, okay, um, we've got new beginnings, first up here, look at this, how beautiful is that, look at this new beginning here, Um, I feel like there's part of you that fears there's something um, within you that is going to trip you up, okay? It's like you're trying to get a handle on something um, and it keeps on escaping because I'm seeing this sort of serpent here, okay, that um, it's like, get, to me, it looks as though it's getting ready to wrap itself around your legs and trip you up, okay? And I just wonder if this see this person here has this this mask on and it's like absolutely ignoring what um what is going on and i just wonder if there's a new beginning available for you which is what this breaking free card is about okay or even someone in your life um and there's some sort of denial about that or you know not wanting to accept this new beginning or not or, or, or trying to stop it from happening um, um, because you like what you've built here. You like that, you know, there's this, um, this sort of creation of this world. You know, there, there's this net here that you kind of put yourself in to protect yourself in a sense from a serpent coming in, but the serpent is not there to trip you up, it's there to break the net away, um, and I feel like the serpent, although it breathes fire, and it may seem scary, is actually um, there to benefit you, but there's this perception that it's there to harm you, and all this time you've had this net here to catch the serpent, because you thought it was a threat, and in fact um, it's not a threat, Okay, rather interesting message there, Leo. Um, and yeah, with this here is being highlighted to me with the intuition, particularly um, there's this area here, okay, and I feel as though this is about you birthing um, I don't know if birth, no, birthing is the right word, but there's something about, there's, by you, uh, or, because your intuition speaks to you, and you do listen to it, but you listen to it when it suits you, you listen to it when it says what you want it to say, and then when your intuition is calling you, and it's like, no, 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 I don't want to um, go down that track, you ignore your intuition. Um, but I feel as though by letting your intuition guide the way, um, <laughs> and, and sometimes this might be where the serpent comes in, like, there's that serpent intuition again. Not that intuition. I like the intuition that leads me to where I want to go. You know, and it just doesn't work that way always, Leo. Um, but yeah, I feel like, you know, this with the hidden oracles here, the intuition is a compass of inner trust. So thus embrace the gifts an oracle gives to us, okay? And then when we're looking at a gift comes in waiting for a loving, tender touch, 
right? Um, maybe this is the gift that you're trying to ignore. Okay, so new beginnings. Tell me more about this for Leo, please. That went fine. I'll have to pick that up. But give me the next card for Leo in regards to new beginnings, please. New beginnings for Leo. Thank you. Knight of Cups. Okay, I'll just pick this other card up here. Okay, I'm just cracking up laughing here because we've got the sun. We've got the sun. This is incredible. Wow. Like new beginnings in the sun. Seriously. This is amazing. Look at this here, Leo. Right? This is this fun, warm, successful, amazing new beginning that is here for you. Okay? There's this hesitancy for you. Okay? It's sort of like with the Knight of Cups here, it's like It's kind of like, I feel like, Leo, part of you wants to embrace it. And yet then you want to, it's like, I really want that, but I also want to take off again. I don't, I, you know, there's this fear within you. Okay. And it's kind of like, you feel like you could play along with it, but you don't want to actually just play. You don't, it's, it's kind of like, um, oh, Okay, so if we say, say it was a new home, for example, and there was a, um, a house that you really, really liked and it appealed to you and you loved it and you looked in it and you're like, this is not just a home. You know, this is not just a building. This is a home. I can see this as my home. But then you know that, oh, later on in life, I might move and I don't want to commit to something that I absolutely fall in love with when I'm going to move. Um, so I don't want to do it. There's this sort of holding back on that, I feel. Okay, and um, you want to embrace it. You really do, but there's a reluctance here, okay? Um, so, yeah, I'm just wondering what this reluctance is about. And the next card that we've had here, which is adorable, is compassion. And I just am seeing these two swans here. Um, this makes me, come, brings me back to the pagan wisdom and just, Thinking about your last reading, even though I don't often remember the readings, but I'm sure there was something to do about love in that reading or a new relationship or something. But anyhow, pagan wisdom, remember the lesson of nature. Not everything needs to be rushed. These swans naturally gravitate towards one another, right? And when we're talking about compassion, this is about compassion, you know, not just being compassionate, but allowing compassion, like receiving compassion for yourself, okay? Understanding why you don't want to, why you're afraid, okay? Um, but not, because I feel like you understand why you're afraid, but you won't sort of take that next step or your... Or your I don't know, I don't know, Leo, it's like, it's almost like you can't avoid it, but it scares the living daylights out of you. You actually can't avoid it this time, and I feel like maybe there's been times where there's been, you know, a situation pop up and you've avoided it, you've managed to escape it here, there, and everywhere, but this time, this time it's different. You know, maybe you've been looking for somewhere to live and you've found places and you've found them and it's like, oh yeah, I'll just live here because it's somewhere to live. But this time, it's like, oh my gosh, this is my absolute dream, you know? Um, yeah, so tell me more about compassion though. We've got the six of wands here. And we've got the ten of pentacles. See, now I'm seeing this as the Two of Cups. 
with this Ten of Pentacles coming up here. But anyhow, let's have a look at the Six of Wands here, Leo. Um, you know, I feel like compassion here is also you having compassion for yourself. Seeing, yes, how far you have come. Because I feel like part of this fear is um, you actually going, I haven't come far enough. The other thing I want to say about this is like, it could be that there are things that you want to do in your life. So it's sort of like, I really want to sort of romance this situation, but I don't want to commit. So it's like you want it, but you don't because there's there's another journey that you want to pursue in a sense. Doesn't mean it's anything to do with this journey here, but it's it's yeah, it's sort of like stopping for a picnic and a bit of a romantic interlude. And then moving on. And then, but that's not the right way to put it. It's not about moving on. It's about continuing on your journey. And um, and I wonder why, I just wonder why the swan can't come with you. It's very interesting. And we've got these two here in the same stance, in the same position. <laughs> which I really feel like this is like, oh, wow, look at how far I've come. Honouring yourself in a sense. Really, really honouring yourself. And we have the Ten of Pentacles here, which is this success, right? But there's this family here. And I wonder if this is, you want a successful relationship. There's something inside of you that doesn't believe that you can have it. I just, I just feel like, and... I feel like this is from this breaking free card. This is breaking free from this mindset or whatever it is that once held you back um, to, to step into this new beginning here, okay? But anyhow, let's get another card for you, Leo. See what else is going on here. Whoa. Okay, that's way down there. And we've got something else flip up here. Okay, I've got to get this card now. Okay, so the card that has flipped on the floor is clearing your space. I feel like this is about you. I'm going to put this one back. It's upside down, but I don't feel like I want to take it. Um, but I feel like with clearing your space here, Leo, this is... Um, oh, and look at what's on the bottom of the deck here. Connection. Anyway back to clearing your space i'm gonna put this upside down because it's catching my eye anyway leo um clearing your space i just feel as though this actually gives me this energy again of the the um, page of pentacles and there's this young man here okay and i feel like this is an energetic clearing that has needed so it makes me wonder if for some of you you've had a young child fly the coop you know maybe they've gone off to university or they've moved out of home or something like that um and this is something that um you know may very well have thrown you into a bit of a turmoil and um this is about you reorganizing your space so it works for you. But, you know, if for those of you that that doesn't apply, I feel like this is you clearing your energy field, okay? Because there's this energy that you've carried around for quite a long time um, that has sort of held you back from any new beginnings. Um, and it could have been, you know, that you didn't feel that you were ready, or you started new beginnings and it didn't work, or something along those lines. It could be a new business, you know. But it feels like now, if you clear that energy of um, those, and 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 I want to say cut the cords to those past things, you know, past businesses, past homes, past relationships, whatever, that's going to help you, okay. And we have death and rebirth pop up here, and this is exactly it putting really really burying not in the sense of burying and not doing the work to heal not like that but actually understanding that this is completely different okay it is completely different here leo and 
to bring in um, experiences from the past is such an injustice to this new beginning because it is not the same. Okay, um, and, and we have the Two of Cups. Wow, wow. So this is the rebirth, is the Two of Cups coming together. We've got connection at the bottom of the deck here. And we've got compassion here. That just reminded me of the Two of Cups. I'm not surprised this has come up. So clearing your space for this new energy to come in. You know? Um, because if you don't, then it's it will be the same because that's how you'll create it, right? And it's sort of like, yeah, this always happens, you know. And then if you, um, sorry, there was two cards there and I just want one. If you believe that, yes, you will absolutely recreate that, right? But if you piece together the, the parts, you know, those core parts that you need to actually clear, then it's going to be different here, Leo. Okay, so one more, another card for Leo, please. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Look, now that's talent. You can't tell me that many people do that. Seriously. Afterlife. We have afterlife. Yeah. See? Death, death and rebirth. And this reminds me of the song by Sher, um, Do You Believe in Love After Love? And that's what I feel like this is. It's like, but I feel like some of you feel like you've died and gone to heaven. You know, it's like the angels are singing and, um, yeah, there's, it, it, and it really is, it's sort of like starting a whole new life for yourself, but, you know, not just a, a new life, but a new lifetime. And this is the, this is the ability that you have here, Leo, okay? Um, so, yeah, give me two cards for afterlife for Leo, please. I want to be clear on this instruction for the cards here. Um... Yeah, this is the ability you have, and I just don't feel like, I feel like you know that, but there's some areas of your life you feel like it doesn't apply, but it does, and it's up to you to apply it. This is the thing, Leo. Okay, so, what is this one? King of Cups. Oh, <laughs> wow. Mastering this, um... This energy here, you know, the King of Cups, he knows how to do it, right? He knows that the gift is in this tender loving touch or whatever it says, loving tender touch. You know, he knows that that's a gift. He doesn't need to be told. He knows. And his heart is vibrating out, you know. Um, yeah, and I feel like this is the energy. That's two cards. I want one more for Afterlife for Leo, please. This is the energy that you need to embrace. Okay, um, sorry, okay, one more card, Leo, the afterlife, two cards, I only want one, one card for Leo, the afterlife, thank you, and we have the king of swords, Wow, cutting out all the stinking thinking here, Leo, that doesn't work for you. Okay, allowing, by doing that, you allow the wisdom to come through. Okay, because the fact of the matter is you have, you know, we've got two kings here. This is you in the afterlife, the king, you know. Um, but you do it, you're able to do it in such a um, graceful and honourable way that, you um, but I, I do think that this clearing needs to be done, this breaking free of your own mind, of your own, not expectations, but your own view of yourself, to be honest with you. Because I feel like some of you don't feel like you are that um, the king that you have the ability to be the king, that if you sat in that king energy, um, you know, that you might get carried away in a sense. Okay, but 
the last card we have here is authenticity okay and I want to say about this is this is authentically you here Leo okay this is who you are yeah it's not I feel like you you've you're grounded enough to not become cocky with it and I just wonder if some of you won't embrace that king energy because you don't want to appear cocky but you're too authentic for that you know you've grown so much Leo you're too authentic to be that anyway you just wouldn't be okay we've got the page of wands here give me one more card for authenticity for Leo please one more card thank you and temperance oh I love this you know this is you learning a different way learning to play with the passion learning to let the passion in yeah learning and 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 whatever that is about I know love is coming up here a lot but you know whether this is embracing a new home or a new job or a new hobby or whatever you know um also this could be Leo that you have a particular talent that you want to embrace but and you know you're good at it but you're like oh I can't you know no 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 you know I don't want to appear like I'm full of myself but there's nothing wrong with honoring that within you okay um and we also have the temperance card here and to be honest with you, like, you know, you can you can get the balance of that, right? It, it, sure, everything in moderation, yeah? You, it, it, it's just about being patient. Because the fact of the matter is, is that this is actually part of your purpose. Okay? This is part of your mission here on earth. And so by not embracing it, you actually are doing yourself and the world a disfavor okay so I feel like Leo it's very important for you to honor this okay I'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye